Hello and welcome to program nine in this series of programs and tutorials designed to uh, teach TradeStation easy language programming but also occasionally I will release a program that may be possibly useful to you. In this case program nine is a going to be a smooth CCI and uh, this is going to be protected so you're not going to be able to edit the code but you uh, obviously would still be able to use it. So what I've got on the chart here is just a standard sort of CCI um, and what I've done is created a smooth version that is also low lag so it's uh, many times when you smooth something you'll see that you introduce a lag so what I'm going to do is introduce or insert the smooth CCI so that you can compare it with the let's say the legacy CCI that you can see on the screen at the moment okay so I've now applied the new CCI and you can see it's on top of the uh, existing uh, CCI and you can see that even though it is substantially smoother the the lag is really not all that great and uh, if we were to actually change the inputs at the moment uh, we have a, a smoothing factor of 14 if we were to reduce that to say 9 um, then you would see that the, uh, the, the CCI is still very smooth uh, but also the lag is, uh, is uh, minimal in this case or it's certainly less than the, uh, the previous setting. So uh, what I'm going to do is turn off the, uh, the original legacy uh, CCI, we're not going to need that anymore and uh, I'm then just going to go through the settings and uh, explain the, uh, the settings that we've created for this new smooth uh, CCI. So let's just do that. I'm going to go Format, Analyze, uh, Analysis Techniques and uh, just go through. Now first of all, uh, Show Lines and uh, what this is all about is you'll notice that um, not only is this a CCI but we're also looking at divergence between CCI and price. So you can see here that price has made a higher high whereas the uh, smooth CCI has made a lower high. So what I've done is drawn a uh, line here showing divergence and um, the, the setting for that is here so if we were to make that false then uh, not only will it not now show those divergence lines but it won't even uh, calculate them either so let's just go through the rest of the settings um, so lower line upper line these are just two horizontal lines that I've drawn at minus 100 and 100 uh, there's also another line drawn at the zero level uh, the CCI color this is the uh, the legacy CCI and you have the option of drawing the original CCI or not. The moment it's set to false, I'm going to set that to true and then you'll see what I mean. So if we go back to the chart, you'll see now that we've got the legacy CCI being drawn in dark grey there. And uh, that's, uh, that's showing because we have this input that says uh, show regular CCI set to true. So I'm just going to set that back to false. Um, we also cr uh, calculate a smooth fast CCI and uh, this is where we set the color. In this case we've set it to red. The smooth CCI we've set the color to cyan. Horizontal lines, in other words the lower upper line and the zero line dark gray. And then some settings that I think are reasonably uh, obvious. The CCI length, this is just the uh, the length that you would normally put in your CCI and the fast length sometimes some people call that turbo length uh, I've set that to six but then we've got these two smoothing factors now um, then the, the first one smooth length is used to smooth the uh, the CCI and then the second one is the fast smooth length and that is used to smooth the fast CCI then length, this is used if you set the uh, the show lines to true and we look for those divergences then this uh, determines how far back the program looks for uh, pivot points in both the price and the smooth CCI. Uh, as far as those pivots are concerned we're looking for a left strength of 3 and a right strength of 1. So this means that left strength of 3 would mean that you had to have um, a pivot point and then to the left of it the values have to be higher than that uh, pivot point and uh, similarly for the right strength. 
bar tolerance. Now, this um, the, the calculation looking for divergences. Obviously, uh, many times the price pivot and the smooth CCI pivot may not necessarily occur on the same bar. So the bar toll, which is short for bar tolerance, determines how many bars these two uh, pivots can be apart and still be considered to be the same, um, the same uh, happening at the same time in terms of calculating the divergence. And then finally, price L and price H. These just are the the prices that we're using to determine price pivots. So, um, as you might like reasonably expect, the uh, price L is low and the price H is um, is high. Doesn't have to be, but um, that's what we're using in this particular case. So let's just go back to the program and uh, you'll see that uh, at the moment the, uh, the ver divergences are turned off and you can just see the smooth CCI and the smooth fast CCI as well as the three horizontal lines that I mentioned. Anyway, um, if you would like to download this protected indicator then please go to uh, markplex.com and uh, it is available for immediate download. Hope, uh, hope you might find it useful.